Welcome back to Brent Sang, I'm Brent Barnett. This is another episode in our ongoing Nothing But Options series, and today we're focusing on two up, two down, which is two rack toms, two floor toms, a kick and snare. Now I'm gonna create a cymbal setup that I like, and I'm gonna keep it that way throughout the entire segment. I'm also gonna show a couple different tom placement variations, but while everything up top looks the same, everything on the ground is gonna change throughout the entire video. What we're focusing on here is how adaptable Gibraltar hardware is to help you create or customize your kit. So option D kicks off our rack series. And this is one of my most favorite parts is because I love racks. Who doesn't? But what I'm using here is I'm using the GSVMS kit and the side stealth rack, the GSSMS. And the reason I chose this combination is because there are a lot of you players out there that don't like the bigger racks, but you like the function that a rack serves. You like being able to get it on and off stage quickly. I was able to use the exact same cymbal setup as I have in everything else just by using the vertical mounting system and the side stealth system. So I have the entire left half of my core supported by the stealth rack, the vertical mounting system, the GSVMS kit. My left main crash is mounted to the clamp out of the back of the tom arm. Then I've got my side crash mounted directly off of the boom arm using the SEC LBRA, which we've seen in other setups. Then I've got my splash mounted to the down stem of my main crash using the SEC MBRA. So everything is right here, tight, compacted, and all supported by the vertical mounting system. Now on the floor tom side of our kit, We've got the GSSMS, the side stealth mounting system, that's supporting the right half of our core. The 12 inch rack tom is mounted directly out of the front leg. We've got our right main crash that's attached to the single tom mount. The ride symbol is attached to the crossbar. Now our side crash is attached to the crossbar and then our china is mounted out of the back leg. I was able to do all this and still keep the symbol configuration the same. So option D1, we have the stealth rack system. Hi-hat side, we've got the GSVMS, not the GSVMS kit. I'll explain later. The si on the floor tom side, we've got the side stealth mounting system, the GSSMS. Now I offset the toms, so I didn't need the single tom mount that comes in the GSVMS kit. Now why am I showing this to you? Well, because there's a lot of you guys that want to offset your toms like this, but you want to be able to use the stealth rack as well. The GSVMS doesn't come with a tom mount, it doesn't come with a snare basket. You provide your own or you provide the one that you think works best for you. So this gives you that option. The GSVMS kit does not, it just tells you, hey, you're gonna play one up, one down, or one up, two down, and you're gonna enjoy it. In order to keep the cymbal set up the same, I had some interesting challenges that I'm gonna show you how we worked around. I have the GSVMS vertical mounting system supporting my core here, my two rack toms and my snare and my crash cymbal. I mean, I've got core over here too, but right now I'm focused on this. This is comfortable, I'm happy. Because the GSVMS does not come with a snare basket or a tom mount, I had to use my own. I needed a double tom mount to, to mount two offset toms, which is, this is a perfect model for this. I use the SCDP. It's a double ball and socket ball L-arm tom mount. In the back, there's a clamp that allow you to mount a crash cymbal just like this bad boy right here. So I needed a way to mount my secondary crash over here. I didn't want to attach any booms to anything else because I wanted more stability from this. So I added a 24 inch curve bar at the bottom of the stealth rack. So it's acting as a wing. Now I can use my no leg cymbal stand so it gets high enough because this is the only boom that's high enough to mount this cymbal exactly where I want. My splash, I needed a special way to mount this thing because I didn't want to mount this to, this, to the no-leg cymbal stand, like in the other setups, I mounted it to the cymbal stand. Because, you know what, if right now I'm using this no-leg cymbal stand as a support, it's touching the ground. But, let's say I wanted to lift it off the ground, then it's gonna put extra weight on that arm. I don't want more weight being put on that arm by the splash cymbals, it's just something else to move. So, I took the SC CMBRA and I attached it to the extra end of this Tom L-Rod that I'm using to mount my 10-inch Tom on. It's got kind of a nice little roller coaster look to it. 
On my floor tom side, I've got the GSS-MS, the stealth side mounting rack, supporting all of my cymbals. My main crash is being mounted out of the front T-leg. My ride cymbal, my secondary crash, is coming off of the crossbar, and then my china is being mounted out of the back leg. Option E, we've got a little cross-pollination going on here. I've got the stealth rack, the GSVMS kit, and I threw in some cymbal stands on the right-hand side. Why would I do something like this? Well, because I know there's a lot of you out there that like what the Stealth Rack has to offer, but you also like cymbal stands, and you didn't want to just jump in head first. Actually, that would have been feet first, but you don't want to just jump full board into a Stealth Rack system. Maybe you just want to use what the vertical mounting system has to offer and use the existing stands you already have. Well, look, as you can see, this whole thing looks identical to every other setup that we've done before, except all the stuff at the bottom is different. So the entire left side of my kit right here is the same as the left side of option D. We've got my rack tom, my snare, my two crash cymbals, my splash, all connected to the stealth rack. Now the floor tom side of my kit is identical to the floor tom side of option A. I got my 12 inch rack tom mounted to the cymbal stand using the SC SLRM. Main crash, ride, side crash, are all using cymbal stands, and the china is mounted off the back cymbal stand using the cymbal attachment. Option E1 is the stealth rack and cymbal stands combined in the offset configuration. Now, why did I do this? There's a lot of you guys out there that like the stealth rack, but you like cymbal stands. You don't want to have to convert everything all at once, or maybe you don't want to convert anything at all, just the, st just the stealth rack. So you keep your cymbal stands, you use the stealth rack, bada bing, bada boom. On my hi-hat side, I chose the hi-hat side of option D1. On my floor tom side, I chose the floor tom side of option A and A1. Now, what I'm trying to do is confuse the crap out of all of you, which is succeeding because I'm confusing myself here. But really what I'm doing is I'm showing you how you can just combine all these different pieces of hardware together. There are infinite possibilities and variations on doing this. I'm just showing you a handful. So I've got my core mounted to the stealth rack. The 10, 12, snare, and left main symbol are all mounted to the vertical mounting system, the GSVMS. I've got my side crash being supported by the no leg symbol stand because the support bar at the bottom, the 24 inch curved wing at the bottom, isn't high enough for me to use a normal long boom, so I had to use a no leg cymbal stand. My splash is mounted to the L-Rod that my 10-inch tom is mounted off of using the SCCMBRA, and I've got this nice little roller coaster effect going here. Cool little design. On the floor tom side, I'm using all these nifty cymbal stands to mount my crashes. I've got my ride cymbal, main crash, and side crash all mounted to cymbal stands. Then I've got my china being mounted to the back cymbal stand using a cymbal attachment. So option F, we have another love child. And this is of another cross-pollinating experience. We've got the stealth rack on the hi-hat side, and we've got the triple platform mount tom stand on the floor tom side. Now just as it was before, everything up top is the same, and everything at the bottom is different. Why did I do it this way? Because, I don't know, there's more than one way to do anything. Maybe you want to use the stealth rack, but maybe you also want to use a tom stand. I'm just giving you ways that you can mix and match and choose the best options that can work for you. The hi-hat side is the same as the hi-hat side on option D. We got my rack tom, my snare, my two crashes, my splash, all supported by the stealth rack. So all the floor tom side is, is the floor tom side of option C the tom stands. And we got the rack tom mounted out of the fixed clamp on the 9613 PM. The main crash and the ride cymbal are mounted out of the adjustable clamps. And then my AUGS crash and China over here are on their own separate cymbal stand. So we got option F1 here and I took the hi-hat side of D1, which was the stealth rack, the vertical mounting system, and that whole apparatus, and I combined it with the floor tom side 
of option C1, which is the, the, the triple platform mount Tom stand, the 9613PM. Now, the reason I'm doing this is to show you guys how you can mix these combinations together and still achieve the exact same cymbal configuration. So I got my core here supported by the stealth rack, my 10, 12, 14 snare, and main left crash all supported on the stealth rack. I've got my left crash, my auxiliary crash, being supported by a no leg cymbal stand attached to a 24 inch wing coming off of the stealth rack because I needed a no leg cymbal stand because we didn't have a boom high enough that would actually get the cymbal placement exactly where I needed it. Then I've got my splash mounted directly to the L rod that's holding the 10 inch tom and I'm using uh, the SC CMBRA in a roller coaster type of a look. On my floor tom side, I got the floor space all cleaned up because the 9613 PM is mounting my ride cymbal, my two crashes, and the only other stand here is holding my china. Well that's it for this segment of Two Up Two Down, thanks for watching. We have a lot of videos in the Nothing But Options series. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Or come to our channel where we have all our videos in the Nothing But Options playlist. Now, if you're interested in a full parts list of any setup that I did in this video, there's a PDF on our website where you can find the link down below in the description.